Today we're gonna to be going over some fantastic everyday wear fragrances that I know you're gonna love. These take all of the guesswork out of it and it could not be easier to find your signature scent. And by the end of this video, you should have it narrowed down pretty good if you've been trying to find something that you could lean on for everyday use. It's nice to have certain scents for more specific times of the year or for specific situations like a date night or a very uh, formal classy event but sometimes it's nice to have a daily beat or just something you can throw on and, and wear every day that's going to work in a variety of situations and seasons. And also, for the most part, this video is staying pretty affordable. Uh, we're all going with all designers and a lot of these are going to be in the, um, you know, below $50 range. A few of these do peak over that, but not by a ton either. So, you know, you can really find something for everybody here. The first one is Lacoste Match Point. You know, they have a few flankers at this point. This one's just the original though, okay? It's got basil, sage, and cashmere in. As you can tell by looking, it's a, a green bottle, well, green liquid within, and that's pretty indicative of the scent itself. A green, classy, musky, citrusy, aromatic mint scent. It's very fresh with a tiny bit of sweetness from actually the basil, which is kind of giving it that aromatic smell, but then also just a, a little bit of a warmer, ever so slightly powdery touch, which is you know welcomed here with this one. That's kind of what gives it that extra layer of versatility because you can push this one into fall and winter time and you still have a little bit of depth behind it to where it will work good during that time of year. And I know not everybody lives in an area where it gets really cold in the winter time. So, you know, you might not necessarily have to think about that as much, but for myself, it does get cold here. And so having things that have just a little bit of sweetness incorporated into them really helps you to get more use out of that scent year round. And again, it still is primarily a fresh overall composition. So it still does work well for spring and summer, you know, when it's super hot and humid outside. I believe this one's around $40 on discounters, really not too bad. And the Eau de Parfum is also really good, around the same price. And then they have, I think it's like a cologne version, which I don't have, surprisingly. I knew Dean to pick that one up, but just the original Eau de Toilette is fantastic. You really can't mess this one up. You can wear it every day. As long as you don't get sick of it, it's not gonna let you down. Next up, we have Intelligent Silver. So I've had the chance to check out all of these fragrances, okay? So it, kind of one of those deals where I'm gonna start working through them as time allows. And this one is one that kind of stood out to me in the beginning. So I received all of them at once in one big shipment. And so going through, smelling them, this is one that initially I was kind of going back to a lot and still am. I've actually had these for a while, but again, I've just been trying to give them some time and, and wear them and, and you know smell them off camera a bit. And so I do like this one a lot. It comes in at $80 for 100 ml. One thing that's notable about all of these is that it's out of focus, is that they are all 20% concentrated extraits. So 80 bucks for 20% concentration, 100 ml, that's unheard of. You take a look at a lot of the elixirs, the parfums, all the other designers that are coming in at more than double this cost that don't have this level of concentration, something to consider. So this one actually is kind of marketed as their office scent, their everyday style of scent. Um, so this one, it's got amber, tonka bean, uh, some cedarwood, sandalwood, and um, some aromatic notes in there as well, but mostly kind of woods, sweeter, warmer notes, um, a really nice composition and mixture, again, of fresh and sweet. So woody, sweet, kind of has this alluring, slightly mysterious edge to it, a little bit of a powdery smell as well. And that's what I like about this style of scent is that it just gives you a lot of, of different facets, all kind of combined in one. Smells fantastic off the opening though. Really like how this one smells when you first spray it on. It, it just gets your attention immediately. Working into the dry down, it kind of maintains 
what it starts off with. And that's just um, something that exudes this level of complexity and richness. It doesn't have the new sweet style where, you know, a lot of the Invictus 1 million style fragrances have that kind of give it this playful, young guy type of smell. It kind of goes in a different direction, which is welcomed by myself and prob probably a lot of people as well, because it does have more of a masculine, gentlemanly, uh, kind of mature smell to it, for lack of a better term. It doesn't smell like an old man or anything like that, but I do think a lot of people would appreciate the level of class that this one gives off, which is kind of lacking in a lot of modern scents that are just going more and more blue, Ambroxan focused or more and more sweet. Really good stuff here. I would recommend checking this one out if you're looking at all of their offerings and you don't know where to start. Again, silver is one that's been sticking out a lot to me. And again, you can't go wrong with this one for everyday wear. That concentration makes it really strong too. Next up we have Givenchy Gentleman Eau de Toilette Intense. So getting a little bit of our iris fix here, but not a ton. Again, this one is balanced out. So some woods in here, and again, to sound like a broken record, some aromatic notes, and that's kind of just the focus behind this video. I find that woody aromatic style scents work great for everyday wear. You know, for some people that might be a bit challenging in summertime. For me, I've worn things, you know, like Invictus Aqua scents, which are pretty sweet sometimes, and also YSLY, EDP, I've worn that stuff in summer many times and it gets hot and humid here. It just depends on what you're into, but I think this one really isn't too hard to pull off when it's warm outside. It just depends on the situation and it depends on what you're into. But I think out of the whole gentleman lineup uh, as it stands right now in terms of in production, the Eau de Toilette Intense would kind of be one of their best offerings for everyday wear signature scents. Gentleman Cologne is fantastic, but it's hard to get discontinued. And the Eau de Toilette 2017 is also really good, and it could be a good contender for this video as well if you wanted to substitute that one in instead. I like it. They're both really good. But this one, I think, is probably going to be a little bit more of a popular choice. Kind of has more of that compliment getter DNA, which I think a lot of people are really going to resonate with. And I think coming in at this price point, which is one of the more affordable Gentleman fragrances, you really can't go wrong with it. Next up, we have Ralph Lauren Purple Label. So I've talked about this one quite a bit and you just don't see it too much anymore. It's kind of forgotten about, but I love it. It has a very unique Blackberry Accord and that's not something you get every day. And I've said this many times. Um, people say it's like Bleecker Street. Well, this came first, so there's a bit of a similarity. Bleecker Street is blueberry. This one is blackberry has a lot of oak moss, so does Bleecker Street, but more so here, very oak moss heavy. That blackberry, which gives it not your traditional type of fruitiness, but you do pick up on it. It kind of has this seedy texture. You know how blackberries kind of taste and smell, this, this kind of unique fruit that you don't really experience elsewhere. That's kind of what this one has. It just stands out, and that oak moss really gives it that classy extra level of sophistication that would work great for an everyday school scent or work scent or whatever. And despite those comparisons, this one really does stand out on its own, guys. I love it. You know, I think it is usually going for like, I don't know, 120 bucks, something like that. So a little bit more than your typical Ralph Lauren fragrances go for. A lot of the polo, you know, blues and reds and greens are, you know, on discounters can get below $100 and stuff. This one, not always the case, but it is a bit more of a premium product. And I do think it is deserving of that higher price. This is one of their best offerings by far, no question. And I hope they keep this one around for a long time. It already has been around for a long time, but I hope they keep it. Next up, we have Ferragamo Womo Urban Feel. This one is also probably not a super popular choice, but I really like it. It's got Ambrox and Bergamot and Ozonic notes in here. Very nice, refreshing, clean, airy, light, blue fragrance style. So not like Sauvage, not like Dylan Blue or Blue de Chanel, um, but it, it just kind of has their, their own twist on it. Actually, there is, is a little bit of incense in here, um, which is 
not all that common with fresher scents. You know, you might think of Blue de Chanel, right? But it doesn't smell like that. It's got its own thing. Bits and pieces, slight slivers of that original Ferragamo Womo might be existing in here further on down the road in the dry down, but not a ton. This one still stays overwhelmingly fresh and uplifting and vibrant. This one, while it will be great all year around, which is why it's in here, this is gonna be more of your summer showstopper. It's gonna be a bit better for when it's really hot outside, maybe just more so appropriate for it, but you could still wear this one into winter time, no problem at all. Another affordable one, $35, $40. It's a really nice one to pick up. If you're on a budget, or even if you're not on a budget, it's still money well spent. Next up, let's go with Mont Blanc Explorer. So when it comes to the Creed Aventus DNA, you really cannot go wrong with it. You can wear this stuff every day to any event or situation that you can possibly think of. There's not a single thing that you couldn't use Aventus for. Uh, for me at this point, I've been wearing it for years. It's one of my all time favorite fragrances ever. I've got at this point nearing 10 bottles of it and that's no exaggeration either. It's true, I do, and um, sounds ridiculous, and it is, but you can use it for anything. My personal favorite time of year to wear Aventus is summertime. It comes to life. The pineapple, the apple, the bergamot, the black currant, it all gets so vibrant and rich under the summer sun. It really does, and it's great for summer evening, date nights. It's great for going out in the summer. It's great just for summer in general. That being said, again, I wear that stuff any time of the year. If I feel like Aventus, I just throw it on. It's that easy. Not everybody wants to spend that much money on Aventus. I understand that. You can get Mont Blanc Explorer for under 50 bucks, and it's a great alternative. You can also go for our Moff Club de Nuit Intense Man Limited Edition Parfum. Okay, and that name can be shortened up a little bit, but that's kind of just the, the whole whole name out there, but that one is one of my favorites as well. And there's, of course, many other clones to choose from. Also, it just depends on what you're looking for. I always like recommending this Mont Blanc because it's a designer. And I think a lot of people, especially newer guys into the collecting hobby, might be hesitant to go for an Armoth because they want to wear Mont Blanc. They want to wear a designer because when people ask them what they're wearing, they could say, oh, Mont Blanc. Most people are none the wiser and they might think you paid a hundred bucks for this when you didn't. But yeah, it's still a great Aventus alternative. If you're on a budget, this one is one you should check out. Next up, we have a newer release that is easy to hate on, but it really does work. <laughs> it's why I sell myself. You know, starting off as an eau de parfum, first of all, which you can see down there, I like to point that out because while they might be producing yet another item that is common smelling, at least they're giving us a decent concentration to start with, okay? Also, like I said, when this first came out, you can go back to my very first video on this. This is the birth of a new line. Of course, there's gonna be flankers to this, and I would wager to bet that a lot of the flankers are gonna end up being even better than this one. So we might get some really good flankers out of this. And again, that's not to say that the original is bad. I don't hate it. I actually really do enjoy how it smells. As crazy as it sounds, okay? And I paid for this with my own money. They did not send it to me, okay? And I do like it. I think it smells great. It's predominantly fresh. It doesn't have all that bubblegummy sweetness going on that YSL has been kind of going crazy with lately. Really nice kind of orange blossomy, grapefruit blossom, slight white floral brightness going on in here, uh, kind of a sweet bitter uh, pop off the opening as well. Really is good stuff. Kind of juicy off the opening and vibrant. I love it, I think it's great. People around you are going to love this stuff. It's gonna be a great compliment getter. It is versatile as you can possibly imagine. There's just not a whole lot wrong with this, aside from the fact that it's not a niche fragrance, which not everybody wants. And we'll just finish off with another YSL, back to back. This one is one of my favorites. It's become something that's worked pretty high into my rotation. It's YSL Loam Le Parfum. So another one with ozonic notes, geranium, some amber wood in here. The way I describe this one is it's a combination of YSL Loam and YSL Y, EDT, EDP, 
maybe Le Parfum. So what does that mean? You're getting the gentlemanly, refined smell of YSL Loam meets the kind of newer style men's fragrance blue deal going on. That's kind of this one in a nutshell. And if you guys know me, you know I adore the original YSL Loam. Nice ginger, apple, gentlemanly fragrance. It smells absolutely amazing. It's a timeless scent. I love it. I think it came out in like 2006 or something and it still smells just as good today as it did when I first smelled it. Not in 2006. I was pretty young then, but I just don't see that one aging a ton. Okay. It, it's just, it's classic. And this one is just kind of combining two different eras, that more gentlemanly style and then the newer style. Combined into one, you really can't beat that. Also, really, I mean, this is one of the more affordable YSL loams too. Pretty standard around 80 bucks. A lot of the other ones can get a bit more. Can't go wrong with this one for everyday wear. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for me. Some fantastic everyday wear fragrances that I know you're going to absolutely love. I will link all these down below, and if you wanna be notified of brand new fragrance releases hitting discounters, and also rare discontinued hard to find fragrances coming into stock, like Issey Miyake Polaris, and Issey Miyake Bois Arctic, and then also things like um, Prada Luna Rosa Extreme popped up there a little bit ago. Had a lot of rare stuff coming in lately, and then new things like Paradise Garden, and other new releases coming in below retail. Jump on my mailing list and texting list at the link and number down below. You will be the first to be notified when that stuff comes in. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.